Well, Kevin Paffrath is an internet personality with a YouTube channel that has about 1.6 million subscribers, and he's become the 26th person now to enter the race to be California's next governor. He joins us this morning to talk about his campaign. Good morning, Kevin. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I cannot wait to make it California see some massive changes with lower taxes, no more homelessness and better housing. So excited to talk with you. Well, so you this is interesting because you're actually getting in the race as as a Democrat. Um, why do you think that Gavin Newsom needs to go? Gavin Newsom is the problem that we have had in California in the last 17 years. He's the reason people are leaving. They are voting with their feet. There's too much regulation in the state and the state is standing in the way of everything. There's no reason why the state should not declare a state of emergency and deal with homelessness within the next 60 days, not in the next five years. Gavin Newsom wants to spend $12 billion. That's an average of $187,000 per homeless person to maybe put a dent in homelessness. But so far they failed at doing that, just like they failed on building new homes to get more affordable housing. They failed us on traffic and they failed us on schooling. Why is it that one third of Californians are in Medi-Cal? It's because they're graduating high school at 18 with nothing to look forward to, but maybe $200,000 of student debt if they wanna to go to college or no skills because the schools aren't educating folks in career focused jobs. So you have actually a, a, a well thought out 20 point plan here I've uh, mm -hmm. been reading and uh, you start out with this tax issue. I mean you really want to have no state income tax on the first $250,000. Uh, can you talk a little bit about why you think uh, we, we need some tax reform and a couple of your other priorities? We need to be competitive with other states. That's one unique thing about state governments is we compete against other states. And right now, businesses are losing their workers because their workers are realizing, why am I a heating and air uh, expert or technician here when I could move to Arizona, afford a wonderful house, have less city regulations to deal with, and save more money? By removing taxes on the first $250,000 for everyone in California, we're instantly giving everyone a pay raise. There's a reason we're also seeing large manufacturers like Tesla open new factories in Texas and not in California because they can, I mean, essentially their workers get paid more money. And if we remove taxes on the first $250,000, we're giving a pay raise to every Californian that works or invests in California. That's very important. But we've also got to think outside of the box. I, one of my, biggest priorities is having future schools, declaring a state of emergency with how our schools are failing our students. And we're going to merge, and this will be an option for folks. So people have a choice to send their uh, high schoolers to a combination school where we combine vocational training, financial education, community college, college, and high school all in one school. So that way people are getting educated in things that matter by 18, like getting credit, buying house, building wealth, and having a career so that they're career investors, not just workers, rather than graduating at 18 with zero skills. We need massive change in the state. And one of those things I'm also considering is legalizing gambling so that we can have another source of revenue and stop having money leaving our state. We've got to stop the flight of money and people out of our state. Well, Kevin, you're a rather young candidate. You're a new face to, to a lot of people. Uh, you're a YouTuber, as we mentioned. One of the stories, uh, you know, as far as your personal life goes that uh, the Internet seems to love is this idea that you came to California at 17 with $1,000 in your pocket, and now you're a self-made millionaire after being, uh, you know, starting a real estate brokerage, being a YouTuber. Tell us a little bit more about your, your personal life. I, I think you have a wife with a really cool name. Uh, if the internet's <laughs> right. Uh, tell us. Yes, Lauren. <laughs> uh, my wife is uh, named Lauren. And uh, yeah, I met my wife uh, on a school trip while I was living in Florida. And uh, I met her in Paris. 
And she lived in California. Hey, come move out to California. I moved to California at 17 with a thousand bucks, rented a room, got a job at Jamba Juice after working my butt off for a year, going to high school out here, working at Jamba Juice. They gave me a 10 cent raise. And I thought, you know what? There has to be a better way. So I became a real estate agent while going to a community college, then transferring to UCLA, graduating UCLA, building my real estate business. And California really gave me everything. It gave me the opportunity to go to high school. They welcomed me. Uh, But the problem was, uh, and the problem is, I feel like I'm the exception uh, and that most people who go to our schools graduate with debt and no job, no capabilities of having sales skills and actually being able to sell. Uh, And California for me has been one of those things where I, I do feel like I'm a unique success story but it shouldn't be unique. My story should be the norm. And that's what I wanna see happen in California. When we look around in California now, we see people dying on the streets. We see our economy crumbling. We see businesses shuttering. We see one third of all restaurants going bankrupt thanks to the lockdowns that we've had over the last year. We've got a lot of problems around us. And I feel like my story should be the norm, not the exception that I could build a business and be free of some of the intense and ridiculous regulations that we have that make it almost impossible to build a business. People come to California wanting to create a contracting business or or do work for folks, they get criminalized. It's illegal to be a handyman in the state of California or handy person in the state of California. And they do sting operations to try to trap people, trying to start businesses in this state, yet they provide no path for licensing people who wanna start businesses. There's so many problems at every level of this government. We need somebody at the top to replace the problem that's created this cancer in the state of the entire state not liking itself. And it's not the workers, the union workers, the civic workers, they all wanna do good. They wanna have a good, strong impact on our communities, but you can't when you've got the sheriff of LA saying, I wanna help, but I'm waiting on the county to solve homelessness, but they're waiting on the city. You need somebody at the top who's going to finally have the strength and, and the willpower to say, we're solving homelessness within 60 days. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna lower taxes. We're gonna improve housing, improve traffic, and fix schooling. That's what California needs. Otherwise, we're gonna stay the embarrassment of the world. Kevin Paffereth, it was very nice uh, being introduced to you, introducing you to our audience. I hope uh, we'll be able to have more chats as this race continues, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Lauren, it was a pleasure. Take care.